service is a rarity in Singapore, let alone service with a smile. A recent survey conducted by market research group TNS found that 56% of 300 Singaporean customers polled felt that service staff here have not gone beyond the call of duty to make their service experience more memorable. Sometimes when you call them, they don't answer, they don't, they simply ignore you. Even if they see you waving, they're like, okay, as if they don't see it. Mostly the telco, I mean, you really start with waiting a long time over the yeah. phone because they always make you wait. So, I mean, most of my companies will be just telco companies making, right. making you wait over the phone. And then when they do pick up the phone, very lackluster their yeah, response. For me personally, I would point out taxi drivers not to take a stab at them, but um, just your usual. If you charge by credit or nets, they get really upset that you know. And then, but they have that service. You offer that service, but when people want to use it, you get upset. So, like last week when I was with my friend, I saw um, the bus. Uh, the bus driver saw the the passenger waving for the bus, but then. Uh, when he stopped at, at the passenger, then uh, when a passenger was about to, to was walking towards the bus, the bus driver drive, drove away. It was somewhere in a food court uh, where I was trying to, I was I was uh, buying I think noodles from a from a store. Then uh, there was a Filipino trying to order food from this uncle, but uh, he didn't understand what she was saying. Then he he, he didn't bother to like uh, even uh, answer her question. She he just. Re, uh, replied in Chinese, which obviously he didn't understand. So I had to translate it for her, which I thought was quite bad. I think people are very defensive. So if you're like, oh, I didn't get something, uh, I don't think it's been mailed to me, it'll be like, no, it was sent. When a dish runs out of stock, they don't tell you until at the end of your, your meal and you'll be like waiting for it for forever. And, and they just told you that we don't have it anymore. What is the one thing Singaporeans want service staff here to improve on? Just smile when you're serving someone. It's not even that hard. Like, you know, you may be having a bad day, but I don't think it's difficult to just, you know, do something with a smile. Like, that's, that's the, yeah. You don't get that a lot in Singapore. Give me a more friendly expression. Uh, I think a smile really works. Uh, <laughs> goes, goes a long way. First impressions do matter. So when they start with a smile, it kind of really kind of changes the mood. I think just the whole, the smile thing. The, the idea of we are there to make your life better. Not that I'm here to do my job. Delivering good service starts from hiring the right people. Businesses such as Cathay Organization, which has been around for over 70 years, and hotel chain Sofitel, which will be setting up its latest hotel in Singapore at the end of the year, say it's all in a person's attitude. For me, it's always been my gut feeling on their attitude and how they apply themselves to an interview process. Do they take it seriously? Are they on time? Do they ask me questions? And the ones that uh, tend to ask more questions are the ones that are actually more motivated. Um, you find that they've researched a little bit about the company or about our other Sofitel So in Bangkok. So this shows intent for me. Some people are just cut to the service. Some people regrettably are not. And it is important that we find this little gem in a haystack that's hard to come by. And I think this starts from conversations that you would do informally before the real interview starts just to get a feel of what they think about consumers, needs and wants are about and how they would tackle it themselves. Service staff here have a long way to go in terms of improving their service standards. But do increasingly demanding customers make it harder to give good service? Find out in the next clip.